Let's take a look at the new visual data window in Tableau 8.2. Here I am in Tableau 8.2. I'm going to connect to data, and I'm going to choose a Microsoft Excel file. The file I'm looking at is called Real Data, and it's data available from data.gov in the United States. Now, once Tableau is connected to the data, you'll see a completely redesigned experience. I've got my sheets over here on the left, and I know that my primary data is in the sheet called Data. So I can simply drag that sheet onto the window, and now I get a preview of all the data. Looks like I've got some railroad data, some incident numbers. I can scroll through all the columns and all the rows, and Tableau will tell me that I have about 8,000 rows in this particular data set. Now I know that all the data I need is not in this data set. I also need some states, because there's only a state code in this data. I'm going to grab that state table. I'm going to do a left join. And I'm going to go ahead and join the state field to the numeric code. And I'll be able to see that join here in the data. The numeric code looks like this. And now I've got state names here in my data and alphanumeric codes. That's going to be really helpful. You can see that I can also choose an inner, left, right, or outer join. In this case, I've chosen a left join. I'm also going to join in something called accident codes. In this rail incident data, we've got a line for every incident, but we don't necessarily know why the incident happened. So again, I'm going to choose a, a left join, and I'm going to choose the field called accident cause, and go over to accident codes, and call and join in code. And that's going to give me this additional data down here that you see about the description, the category, and the title of the accident, all related to the code. And in the visual data window, you can see that I've got the join laid out visually for me. I could remove one of these. I could adjust the settings for each of these. I could generate an extract or continue to connect live. And I can even change the name of the connection right here. Now when I go to the worksheet, I've got all that data available to me. You can see all that data up here in accident codes, the one table, data my primary table, and states, the last table. So let's take a look at this data. Let's look at the number of records, about 8,000. That's what we learned in the last in the last window. I'm going to look at it over the year. Looks like we've got a lot fewer accidents in uh, in 2014, but that may be because we don't have all the months in 2014 yet. So let's go ahead and drag out month. And yes, you can see that's the case. Now let's use that accident code data, and again you can see that the renaming that I did is showing up here. I can go ahead and put title on color, and you'll see all the different reasons why there might have been accidents. There's rack, railroad structures, mechanical and electrical, human factor errors, all of those show up in, in the data here. And so now I've been able to connect to my data in a new visual way. I can always get back to that connection simply by right-clicking up here. And I have all that data available to me in Tableau as I would normally expect it.